one of the things I'm really interested in is identity construction, in particular for uh, hybrid people like me. Um, or what, what's that hybrid? What, uh, hybrid people? Oh, I mean people who are more than one race. Uh, in my case, I'm Chinese and Caucasian, and also um, people that are you know draw their identity from more than one culture, or having uh, a different religion or sexual orientation um, that makes the path to identity construction more complex. So in this story, the two main characters are, are mixed race people. You know, I'm bringing it back to sex because I know that's the, that's the question. I think that sometimes when people are unsuccessful finding themselves in other arenas such as career or I guess a church or even a political affiliation, that the bedroom becomes a laboratory for uh, people to try to find out who they are. I think for women it's interesting that I think the old school is almost to say that a woman, her identity is defined by the partner that she chooses. Who is her boyfriend? Who is her husband? And what is that relationship? And, and th that her identity is limited to that. Kakella is a woman who is struggling to free herself of that idea, and yet she has found herself sort of finding her identity through the man she chooses, the sensible choice that sort of follows what society expects from her. But then once she finds herself engaged to be married, uh, she begins to panic inside, and she realizes that she doesn't know enough about herself to make this lifelong decision but she's already said yes. And so there's this, uh, it's almost like uh, tectonic plates that create an earthquake. There's a fissure and there's pressure that builds. And um, in a way, her um, sexual experimentation with Trey is um, a manifestation of the kind of identity crisis that this generation goes through. And I think it's even more complex for women and I think it's even more complex for, for mixed race people.